Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very, very well. Today I'm doing my big baby haul. I've been so excited to film this video because I have been binge watching this type of content for the last good few months. So if you're new to this channel, hi my name is Josephine and I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator. Uh, I'm expecting my first baby very soon. Um, and I finally decided to start buying stuff. Um, I'm in my third trimester and all of this stuff, I've been, I bought pretty much <laughs> a lot of this stuff in the last couple of weeks because I have been so overwhelmed, so reluctant. Every time I go into shops, I'm like, oh yeah, I can't do this today. Let me just walk back out. There was just so much on the high street and um, it's just hard to figure out what you actually need, what you're gonna use. Um, so I thought I would show you all things that I've bought because I know that first of all, a few of you guys have asked me to do this video and I just hope that it's gonna be helpful. It is going to be a long video because I don't want it to be short. I don't want to rush this video. I want to go through um, all of the things that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you any clothes because this is far too many of them. And this video would be so long. Follow me on TikTok because I did do a massive clothes haul over there. I want to talk through some of the reasons why I went for specific items. And with saying that, um, just got to remember that there is so much information out there. I have on my Instagram, I've asked people's opinions on certain on certain items, and like people feel very strongly either way. So I'm going to share my opinion, take everything that I say or what everybody says actually with a pinch of salt because at the end of the day, I'm buying for me, my lifestyle, my baby and what I think I'm going to like and what's going to work for me, my household, my lifestyle. Um, we probably, actually, we definitely will have different lives. So um, just take everything that I say with a pinch of salt and just figure out what you think you're truly going to use. So I'm going to start off with travel. When it comes to travel, um, one of the biggest things that I was confused about was push chairs. I really didn't know what push chair, pram, stroller, whatever you want to call it. I didn't know what push chair we were going to go for. Um, Jack actually really liked the brand that we ended up going for. Um, whereas I was a little bit more open, like open to looking at different ones. Um, I wanted something, so so with push chairs, you really have to go for something that's going to work for where you live and your lifestyle. Where we live, we um, have some like country walks um, and I wanted something that was going to work on different um, surfaces. <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but I wanted something that's going to work in different areas. So we decided to go for the Eye Candy Peach 7. Um, I'll insert a picture of it just because we still haven't built it. It's downstairs. Um, I'm not really sure when to build it just because I don't really want to build it and then it's just like sat there for a couple of months like collecting dust. I, probably, I just want to wait for it. Um, yeah, we're probably going to wait until like a month before. But um, I say that and then we'll end up building it next week. Anyway, we went for the Eye Candy Peach 7. And the reason why we went for this is because it has um, the big wheel, so it works on all terrains. When it comes to how it felt, the quality of it, it felt really, it felt really good quality, especially when you compare, especially when I compared it to other brands. Um, I thought it just felt very luxurious. It felt very smooth to um, push. Some of the features that really appealed to us is that the bassinet is um, sleep safe for like permanent sleep. Um, so I really like that. Not all push chair bassinets are sleep safe. So make sure that, well, are not permanent sleep safe. So make sure to just do your research um, to figure out whether yours will be. Also, I really like the fact that with this push chair, you don't, it doesn't come with a separate bassinet to the chair. So the bassinet can eventually be converted into a chair. And I love that because it just meant that there's one less thing to have around, uh, you know, to store away. So once the baby is too big for the bassinet, you can convert it into the chair. And I just love that kind of dual aspect of it. I think that's really, really good. Also, uh, it can be converted into a double pram. Um, so it has adapters um, where you can change it. Another thing that appealed to me was that I found that with a lot of push chairs, the bassinet was quite low. So I just felt like I would have to go down and like use a lot of my lower back um, to pick up baby. Whereas with this one, it actually has 
um, like adapters where you can raise the bassinet quite high so you're not having to bend quite low. Um, a lot of prams didn't have that. A lot of prams didn't have that feature. I just feel like it was it was something that was going to work for us long term. It's um, it's obviously quite an expensive push chair, and I wanted to make the right investment. Um, and I really do think I'm really confident in this purchase. Also, when I asked a lot of people on Instagram, they had a lot of good things to say about this push about this posture. So that gave me even more confidence. And then moving on to um, car seat. So we went for the Maxi Cozy 360 Pebble Pro. So I really like the Maxi Cozy because of the 360 turn, and also it can be pulled out love that feature and then i went for the pro over the regular because um the pro it can be um extended so your baby is laying more flat which means that the baby can be in the uh, which means that the baby can be in the car seat for a lot longer than other car seats and that was quite a huge thing that's what made me want to upgrade to the pro rather than just the regular 360 pebble and um, just because with the regular one i think they can only sit in it for like up to 45 minutes and um, which really isn't long my partner and i could be making long journeys and I just didn't want to be put in a situation where, um, you know, like baby was uncomfortable or anything like that. So we went for the 360 Pebble Pro. Now, when it came to the push chair and the car seat, we actually bought it within a big bundle at John Lewis. And I'm going to quickly touch on this because we've ended up buying because we've ended up buying a lot of our um, baby stuff from John Lewis because they had this. Well, they have this incredible deal, which unfortunately. By the time this video goes live, I don't know if many of you will be able to really benefit from it, but, well, you will be able to benefit from it, but I don't think you'll be able to get the discount that we have. They might bring it back, who knows, hopefully they do. So John Lewis were doing a bundle where, which included the car seat and the Peach 7, and it was slightly discounted, um, but then... John Lewis also have um, an offer, like a, a baby appointment offer, where if you sign up to attend a baby appointment, it's like a consultation, it can be from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, they literally take you around the whole store and they show you everything and, you know, it's an opportunity for you to speak to somebody who, um, well, in my opinion, is more knowledgeable than me because I... <laughs> Had very little knowledge so you know these people work with these products every single day they have a lot of knowledge and insight that you wouldn't have as just an everyday person so I find it really helpful in that way but actually at the end of the um, baby appointment they give you a discount code so the more you spend the more discount you get but I think after the 31st of July uh, the discount's going to go down to 15% which is still really good. So I just thought it was incredible that we could get the whole bundle, push chair and car seat bundle discounted, like as it is, and then we can get an additional 20% off of it. Um, it just worked out perfectly. I was so, so happy um, with that promotion that they had. Um, so I'd highly recommend that. So we got a lot of our stuff from Jono's because of that. See, so yeah, it worked on clothes, it worked on anything baby related. Um, also, at the end of the John Lewis appointment, the woman sent, emailed me my wish list. So everything that we talked about, she emailed me. Like everything that I, everything that I said I liked, she created a wish list. She created a wish list for me, and I literally just added it all to my basket and checked out. It was that easy. And then also from John Lewis, we got the baby car mirror, so that you know we can see baby whilst. Um, we're driving. Another really good thing that we got was a car seat protector. Um, so it's like a what's well, a car seat protector. So um, it goes into your car, um, so that when you pop the base of your car seat in, it's not going to like dent the leather on your car seat. Um, so I also purchased that, which was, I also purchased that, which was twenty pounds. Um, I wouldn't say these are essentials, it depends how you feel about your car, whether you're that bothered, but for us it was. Another thing that kind of comes into travel, uh, our eye candy push chair comes with a changing bag, which comes, which also comes with a changing mat. Um, so I don't plan on buying an additional changing bag, um, I'm just going to use the one that's included, just because 
Um, I like the way that it looks. It can also be used as a backpack. You can attach it onto the seat. Um, so we're all ticked off when it comes to that as well. Um, also the eye candy came with like a cup holder, an umbrella, a rainproof um, cover, all sorts. It had loads of accessories. I was like, yes, 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 I love this. Let's buy it. Hi everyone, Edison Josephine here. I just remembered that I didn't show the baby carrier that we're using. So we're using the Nigel. Uh, I think that's how you say it. It might be Nayel. Um, it's a Scandi brand, so I don't think I'm fully pronouncing it right. But yeah, we're using their baby carrier. I was very lucky to receive this in PR. Um, this baby carrier comes in multiple different colours, um, like beautiful neutral shades. But I went for black because it just goes with everything. And it won't show any marks as easily. So the brand accidentally sent me another one. Um, and I'm going to host just a little mini giveaway for you all. I'll leave all the rules in the description box because i haven't made them up yet but it'll just last a week and um of course like subscribe um give this video a thumbs up and i'll leave some sort of other instruction and also it'll only be for uk followers i'm sorry um but yeah this is just for my uk subscribers let's talk about sleep so i'm not going to talk about our crib um it's on its way um but I'm not going to talk about that because I'm going to do a whole nursery video. I was really in between a few different cribs. I'll talk about the ones, I'll quickly talk about the ones which I was in between. Well, one which I really contemplated because um, I had a few questions about it actually. Um, we nearly went for the Stoke crib and the only reason why we didn't go for that is because... Um, because of the shape of the crib, it restricts you to only buying their accessories. So you can only buy their mattress, you can only buy their bed sheets, their mattress protector. It prevents you from buying things from different brands, which you could probably get for a lot cheaper. Um, so that's one thing that really put us off. So we've gone for more of a standard crib. Um, where we can buy like bed sheets and mattresses from different brands um, so I will show you that very very soon so the next thing when it comes to sleep is Moses basket we weren't sure whether to get a Moses basket or not at first I thought it was a bit of a gimmick I don't know why I thought that but I am so happy that we have one and actually I'd say about 80% of people said um, recommended us to get one. When I asked people on Instagram, a lot of people were like, yes, get one. We ended up going for the little green sheep Moses basket. That's what it looks like. Um, so we got this because, again, we managed to get it um, through John Lewis, so we got 20% off of it. Um, whereas if you did buy it from the website, I don't know if they'd do any discounts. So I love the way that it looks. It feels really, really good quality so far. It's so big. Like, honestly, it's absolutely mahoosy. Um, It's crazy that babies grow out of this within, like, six months. Um, it came with a mattress as well. Um, and the mattress is really, really good quality. There we go. That's the mattress. We were really unsure about whether to get one or not. But this is when um, you have to think about your lifestyle and living arrangements. Obviously, you know, especially in the first few weeks, months of pregnancy, it's going to be autumn, winter time, and we're just going to want to chill um, in the living room. So this um, Moses basket is for is going to be for our living room. So whenever the baby is tired and wants to sleep in the living room, it has a safe area to sleep. Um, we another good thing about Moses baskets is that you can move them around the house so I know people use them for their bedside crib as well which is totally fine you can like if I was in the kitchen and baby and I wanted to keep an eye on baby whilst doing stuff in the kitchen laundry cooking whatever I can move the baby around the house with me so I really really like that aspect of it as well I, I obviously I obviously like the way that they look and um, we got ours with just like a standard stand not a rocking one um and yeah so this is going to be for downstairs so my partner and i weren't sure whether we um, were going to be using it in our bedroom because of our house so we live in a three-story house obviously you know the living room is downstairs on the ground floor and then we're all the way in the very top floor um i just knew that i was not gonna want to carry moses basket with the stand um 
up two sets of stairs. I just knew I wasn't going to do that. I prefer, I prefer the Moses basket to just be for downstairs living. Now that is just because, I don't know, you could call me lazy, but it's just something that's convenient for my life. It's just something that's gonna make my life more convenient and it's worth it, um, especially when we're not paying full price for the item. And, and it's something that you've got to figure out for yourself. If you live in like a bungalow or like a two-story house, uh, a flat, where you're all on one floor you probably won't need um a moses basket and a bedside crib just because you're all on one floor uh, where our house is over three floors and i just knew that i was not going to want to carry a moses basket a stand and baby not all at once of course <laughs> i just knew i wasn't going to want to do that um so we've gone for that so we've gone for that moses basket there and we've also got the bed sheet covers and the mattress protector from John Lewis. They're somewhere, I don't know where, <laughs> but they are somewhere. And then when it came to bedside crib, we also did decide to get a bedside crib. So our bedside crib is from Mamas and Papas. I think it's called the Lua bedside crib. It's one of those ones that um, can be um, put down on one side so that you have easy access to the baby. Um, and we went for it in like a beige colour. It's absolutely beautiful. It literally just arrived this morning. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we got any kind of discount on that. Maybe they had a promotion going on, not too sure. Um, but yeah, we also did decide to get a bedside crib as well, just to have something that's going to be upstairs on the top floor that we don't have to move around. Now, the good thing about the um, Mamas and Papas bedside crib is that it comes with, I think it comes with like a changing mat and a couple of other accessories. It can be put down on one side. It's a really nice, a big size and um, you can also travel with it. So let's say if, so let's say that we were gonna go on a trip or staying over at someone's house, we can pop it all into a bag and carry it with us, take it in our car and travel with it, which is something that you can't do with a most basket. I mean, we can do that with our um, eye candy peach, um, you know, bassinet, um, but I just like the idea of having that as well, you know, just for options. So I know that might be a bit excessive for us to have um, three different sleeping, products for this baby but it's just something that works for our lifestyle and also it's not going to be wasted we'll use it for this baby and if we're lucky enough to have um future children we will use it for future children as well and once we're done with with all of that we can always pass it on to people or um sell it or something like that but these are products which we're going to be using for a very long time um so that's sleeping arrangement the only thing when it comes to sleep which i haven't bought is um a swaddle swaddle product um i really like the zip up swaddle what's it called swaddle me or swaddle up it's a brand they look really good they're a little bit expensive um but um i really really want them and it's just not something that i need to get right now so i'm gonna wait um you know another month or so and get one of them but i definitely plan on getting the swaddle up um zip swaddle suit <laughs> I think this is just going to be a lot easier than having to physically wrap the baby um, and I've heard that babies like them because they're a little bit more roomier, they can put their hands up rather than uh, a typical swaddle where the hands are really constricted. Um, so I like the idea of I like the idea of them and I will be getting a few of them. I'm going to skip over the nursery section just because that will be its own video. And then when it comes to bathing, um, I haven't bought any baby products, like any like skincare, wash, moisturisers or anything like that, just because that is another area where I'm still quite a bit overwhelmed. Um, People have really strong opinions. Like some people are like, yes, you can use this. No, you can't use this. I just want to use like the most um, natural, pure product that I can. I'd rather use things for delicate skin, which babies do have delicate skin, to be honest, um, than things with loads of like perfume and fragrance and all that kind of thing. Um, so still trying to figure it out. And then another thing when it comes to bathing, we decided to go for the Angel Care um, baby baby bath support yeah we went for this just because we really um i mean everybody hypes it up everybody speaks really highly about it so i just think the baby's gonna love it it's really really it's actually quite soft like the inside of it's really nice and soft 
Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to use for the first six months of baby's life. Um, and it also comes that pink and blue, but we haven't found out like, the gender of our baby, so we're keeping it nice and neutral. <laughs> the only other thing that I have bought um, for baby when it comes to bathing is an in bath and room thermometer. So you can use this. So you can use this in the bath just to check that the temperature is good. Some people, some people recommend them, some people don't. I'm a first time mum and I just don't know how to gauge it. So I would rather something else tells me what's good and what's not. My skin is not gonna be like a baby's skin. So I might think that something is cool enough and it's just not for the baby. So I'd rather just purchase something like this and just be safe rather than um, sorry. So I got, this, uh, I got this during the Aldi baby event i think it's still going on i got it last week um i think it's usually about 18 pounds i got it for 12 pounds so i thought it was worth purchasing the next category that i'm going to be talking about is anything play related so we have gone for this play mat here i'll insert a picture of it i don't know the name of it um but we really like the look of it and it was neutral but still had some like colourful bits on it obviously we can swap out the toys and as baby grows and like their eyes develop um we'll buy more colourful toys um but i just like the initial look of it it's neutral it has a little bit of green on there um and also we can swap out the accessories so that they become more colourful as baby grows and their eyes develop because i don't think Baby can, babies can even see colour for a while. And then we also got a baby bouncer. We won't show whether to get a swing or a bouncer. I was more pro swing and my partner was more like, no, a bouncer will be fine. Um, so I compromised and we've gone for, so I compromised and we've gone for a bouncer. So we've gone for the mamas and papas bouncer. Again, it arrived this week. We've got it from Boots. Um, yeah, we got both the bedside crib and the bouncer from Boots just because um, I think it had sold out or something on Mamas and Papas. I think the bounce had sold out, something like that. I felt like the Mamas and Papas bouncer felt really smooth when playing with the other ones. When I was like in the shop playing about with, with the other ones, some of them felt quite jerky, whereas this one felt really smooth. It also comes in a variety of colours, um, like pink, it comes in green. I think there might be like a there's just there's quite a few colours. We've gone for like a neutral one, and then you can add on, uh, and then you can add toys as well. So we'll add on like colourful toys. I think it comes with toys as well. Let's go on to anything ch baby changing related. So I'll start off by showing you the I'll start off by showing you the nappies that we've gone for, the wipes that we've gone for, um, and then I'll also show you the changing mat that we've gone for. So. When it comes to nappies, we went for the Pampers newborn nappies. Again, I feel like, oh, wow, it comes with one free pack of nappies inside. Oh, one free pack white coupon. Okay, I like that. So anyway, we went for the, um, I went for the Pampers because it's quite a well-known brand. So I thought I would go for a brand that I'm... Quite, that I'm quite familiar with. I just got the newborn size uh, in the size one. Again, I think nappies and wipes, people feel very strongly about certain ones. And I'm just gonna try a few different ones. Uh, I have a few that I want to try, a few different brands and um, that I want to try. But this one, the reason why I went for this one is because it came in like a big pack of 80 and George, as they were doing a deal where they were doing two packs of these for £21, which I just thought was a really, really good deal. Um, so I've actually got two of these. One, I, no point bringing both of them, but yeah, I went for this one. And then everybody kept recommending the Aldi Mamma Mia newborn nappies. And I can't remember how much these were. I feel like they were less than a pound. They were so inexpensive um, and everybody keeps talking about how good they are. So I picked these up again during the baby event and I think that they, I think they might have been, um, I think they might have had an additional offer, like additional discount during the um, baby event. So I picked up them just because everybody talks about them. Next ones, next ones which I'm going to pick up are the Tesco Flow ones. I think that's what they're called. A lot of people are hyping them up at the moment. So I've got them. And then when it comes to wipes, I went for the Huggies 99% um, pure 
wipes um just because i use them for myself um occasionally i'm not really a wipes person but um i always like to have like a pack of baby wipes because you just never know and um, so i actually use them on myself and i love them i love the quality of them i feel like they feel good they're soft they're fragrance free um so i got a pack of them again from george asda just because they were on promotion and then during the asda baby event i also picked up um six packs of the water wipes because i mean everybody hypes them up everybody loves them so i got six packs of six packs of them um they were on promotion for like one pound 79 per pack which i know it's still a lot of money but um if i know baby's gonna love it it's worth it for me um so the one pound 79 per pack i picked up six which worked out cheaper than the six packs that they do you know like the the bundles that they do this offer at aldi worked out um a lot a lot cheaper um so yeah i got a bunch of them and then when it comes to changing mats i was really stuck between i was really stuck about what to get because obviously there's so many options and i wanted something that looked nice that's going to look that's going to look really nice in the baby's nursery but that's also going to be um practical practicality was actually way more important than looks to be completely honest but if I could find something if I could find something that did both yes that would be great and I actually got it second hand on Facebook marketplace so I got this um it kind of looks like a Moses basket it's like a, um, a basket changing mat and um the reason why I liked it is because it came is because you can actually buy a waterproof mattress for it so this one came with this like waterproof uh, insert I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep this just because I don't know the idea of using someone else's changing mat is that strange um just because you know <laughs> but I don't know am I just being weird will it is it all right for me just clean it and you know disinfect it will that be all right um to be honest this kind of polka dot color uh, it has like neutral polka dot it does work in my room but i just don't know i just feel a bit strange about using someone else's changing mat so i think i might buy like a different liner one thing that put me off getting these um kind of basket changing mats is because first of all they are a lot of money you can spend like 60 80 pounds on them i managed to get some facebook marketplace for 40 pounds which i still think is a lot of money um, but the thing that kind of swayed me is, is the fact that you can get waterproof liners and saying that one big thing that really put me off of doing like when I'd watch people like talk when I'd see people talking about these is that a lot of them come with like those kind of cloth inserts which I just know that that would not work personally that just wouldn't work for my lifestyle um, I don't want to be washing like cloth changing liners which have like human bodily fluids on them uh even though it's my human i still don't want to do that i think something that's waterproof that you can that can just be wiped away that can be disinfected regularly um is way better than having like one of those um cloth interiors um so yeah i'm gonna buy a new insert from a brand and i've seen a brand which do them um just because i don't know how i feel about using this one am i being strange I mean, you know, once it's disinfected, I'm sure it'll be fine, but the next thing that I got were a couple of these nappy, nappy changing caddies. Um, so yeah, I got two of them. I might get a third, I'm not too sure. So I want one on every single floor. I want one in our bedroom, on the middle floor, and also on the ground floor as well. Um, so that's just what it looks like. It has all these kind of um dividers you can take the dividers out um so i plan on putting like nappies change of clothes uh wipes any products that the baby's gonna be using so i have one of these just on the dresser behind me and then i'll have one in the living room and also in our bedroom as well i got this from amazon and to me it just looks it was the one that looked the most aesthetically pleasing for me because to be honest they all look that they all have the same function so and they're all relatively the same price so the only difference between them is looks so this one appealed to me the most it's like a nice um neutral warm neutral shade so i've got two of them um, I picked them both up during the Amazon Prime sale. I feel like I'm, I've been quite savvy um, when it comes to my bit when it comes to baby purchases. I have tried to buy things um, when 
when either I can get a discount or I can or during a sale. So yeah, I got these during that promotion. So yeah, I might get a third one of them. And then something else which I and then something else which I got which is kind of a bit controversial. People either tell you you need it or you really don't need it, don't waste your money. I decided to get it anyway just because I know what I'm like. And again, I managed to get it for 20% off um at John Lewis. And I'm talking about the Tommy Tippy Nappy bin. Now I really i really wasn't sure about whether to get i really wasn't sure whether to get this or not let me put it down i'll tell you guys why i did get it a lot of people do say it's a gimmick um actually i find that people either love them or they hate them um so the pack that we went for again like i said i got it from john lewis and it came with 12 yes 12 of um the twist log bags um so it should last me a year because apparently each um, each of the refills last about a month so I feel like we're set up for a year and then I can try it out for a year and see what I think what I want to do actually is maybe get another one I want to get one maybe not for every floor but I'll get one for downstairs and maybe our room um, especially for the first six months when it's not really going to be um, well it's not going to be sleeping on its own it's either going to be in the living room with me or it's either going to be downstairs with us or in our bedroom um, I'm not about the baby <laughs> so the reason why I went for it is because our actual bin is quite small <laughs> personally speaking i don't like the idea of having to, i don't like the idea of putting nappies and all that kind of thing with our normal trash um there's nothing wrong with that and i feel like i'll get over that as baby comes but for now i don't like the idea of it i'm sure i'll come around and i'll change my mind and that's absolutely fine and i also really like the fact that it has the um like the tw twist mechanism where it like locks in the germs and the smells I love that I love that feature just because you're not gonna get that with a normal bin. Um so yeah, overall it did appeal to us, and again we managed to get 20% off of it, so I was really really happy with that. Um if you are thinking about getting it, one thing that people do say is that the refills are quite a lot of money. You can try and get them during like Amazon Prime sales, that's what I'd recommend you to do to get them during any promotion. Um and I actually plan on getting another bin. Um so this box just comes with one bin. I'm going to get another bin. Um, I'm going to get another bin, but I'll buy it secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm only going to buy a new one. I've actually seen somebody selling a brand new nappy bin. Never been used, still in the box and everything. Um, I think they're selling it for a fiver. So I'm going to do that. Um, but I'd probably only recommend you to buy a new one. Well, personally, I'm only going to buy new. I'm not going to talk about clothing, but the only thing that I would say is that I have, well, I bought these quite a while back, but these are the M&S um, five sleep suits. Like I said, we're having an autumn baby and I don't really want to buy many vests or anything like that just because um, the baby's going to need a lot of layers because um it's going to be an autumn winter baby um so i've got a pack of five of these from marks and spencers that's what they look like these have such good reviews and um, everybody hyped on about them so i'm definitely going to get some more and um, these are in the newborn size one thing that i am stuck stuck about is how much how much to buy for the newborn size just bought five of them anyway and i might buy another pack but I will definitely buy more packs in different sizes, like, this, like the zero to three months and the three to six months. So yesterday evening, I was kind of doing like, um, I wanted to see how much I'd bought. Like I wanted to count everything that I'd bought because I keep telling myself that I bought too much, but actually having gone through everything, I think I just about have enough and I could do with a few more things. Definitely a few more sleep suits and the essentials. We haven't bought loads of outfits just because um, people do say that babies don't wear outfits. Do babies don't end up wearing outfits that much. Um, so yeah, we have gone for a lot of um, sleep suits. When it comes to feeding and nursing, the whole thing, I haven't really bought too much just because I don't know what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't know what like my body is going to allow me to do whether i'm going to be able to breastfeed i'm not sure whether i'll be able to breastfeed or not um so i haven't really bought that much when it comes to feeding if breastfeeding works for us then i know that i can buy a lot of things through amazon prime if i don't want to leave the house 
or if I do want to leave the house, everything's available in stores. Um, so I didn't want to buy too much when it came to feeding because you just don't know. I mean, ideally, I want to breastfeed. Um, I really, really do want to breastfeed. Um, but I know that it isn't always possible for everybody. Um, but I will definitely be trying my best to do it. Um, fingers crossed for me. Um, so the only thing when it comes to breastfeeding that I thought, you know what, I'll just buy it because it's not too much money, is the LV Catch. So um, the woman in John Lewis told me, um, was explaining to this, it was explaining this product to me and said that um you know a lot of women users i think they're called hackers pop them on your uh, boob whilst you're feeding and it just allows you to catch all of the letdown you know any um milk that's coming out and i um even though those things do look good and i might buy one i don't know but i don't know it looks really inconvenient like i can't picture how it would work like does it stick onto your boob or do you have to hold it but then you'll be holding the baby? Will you be doing both? I don't fully understand how those, um, you know, those, you know, breast milk catchers work. Um, so I, that didn't appeal to me. However, the, however, the LV catch did appeal to me because this one, it's kind of like um, a breast pad. I'll show you what it looks like. It, it attaches onto your boob and it catches all of the milk um, without you having to hold anything it's not big it's not it's not big it, you can just put it in your bra and just if you have any leaks it'll just catch everything and the woman told me that you can actually use this kind of like a breast pad you know like the breast leak pads instead of having them just use this um because it allows you to just catch all of your breast milk whilst you're getting on with your day it's very discreet, um, so nobody will really know that you're even that you've even got anything in your bra. Um, I just loved the idea of this. This really, really appeals to me. I think it was like eighteen pounds or something like that. Again, I managed to get twenty percent off of this. And then when it comes to bottles, um, everybody talks about the mum bottles, so that is what I went for. And this is what it looks like. So this um, set. So I didn't want to get the really big set because again, I don't know what our feeding situation is going to look like. I mean, but then I thought, either way, we're going to need bottles because if I breastfeed um, and I pump, um, I'm going to want to put, I'm going to need to put it in a bottle so that somebody else can feed the baby. Um, and if I use formula, then bottles will be really good as well. So um, I thought I would just get this small set. So it comes with two of the smaller bottles, two big bottles and two dummies. And these mum bottles are really good because they're self-sterilising. So you can just pop them in the microwave and they will self-sterilise. It's like a, a way to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're self-sterilising in the microwave. And they're apparently really good for like colic and air, bubble, air bubbles. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is why I decided to go for these. Hopefully if breastfeeding works for me and baby... Um, I really want to get the LV pump. I really want to get the LV pump, but those um, pumps are so much money. I think they're like a good few hundred pound, and I didn't want to make that kind of investment and then not end up using it just in case like breastfeeding doesn't work for me, baby doesn't, the baby can't latch or anything like that. Um, I thought that's something that I can buy um, later down the line um, once I'm really confident and. Once I'm really sure and confident that I can breastfeed, that is what I'm going to go for. But I love the idea of the LV pump. That looks really, really good. Again, it's kind of like the catch in the sense that you can just put it in your bra. It's quiet. I think the final thing which I'm going to talk about is um, baby monitor. So we looked at a few different baby monitors and this leapfrog one had the best reviews and it also got recommended to me at the John Lewis appointment. Um, but yeah, it had really, really good reviews. And uh, so this one comes to the monitor. I looked at so many reviews when it came to um, to monitors. I don't know if it's something that we're going to use straight away just because I'm going to be with baby all of the time. I thought it's definitely something that we're going to use once the baby, you know, is sleeping in its own room. So it's something that was worth purchasing because they 
because again these can be quite a lot of money um so the fact that we can get a good discount on it at generous i thought it was worth it was worth getting because it's something that we will eventually use if not use it straight away it's described as having a high definition five inch color screen 360 pan tilt um adaptive color night light so it also has an inbuilt night light and it's a powerful rechargeable battery and i like that i like that you can um you charge it it also has a temperature it also has a temperature and humidity sensor um and it has night and it has night vision as well some other things that it has it has two-way talk soothing sound and lullabies and a powerful long lasting battery so it, it does a lot it does a lot um especially when you compare it to other monitors i think that's everything i'm going to show you today that is everything that i bought for baby um i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and uh, i'll catch you all in my next one bye